Hey, it's James from Free Electrical, and today's video, we're working at this church. Let's get into this. So then, this is where we're working. The clock tower's chiming away. But yeah, what we've basically got to do is do some pack testing today. So that should be a bit of fun. So we've got this old church to pack test, there's just plug tops all over. So what we'll have to do is just uh, plug it in, get it tested, and get it all written down. So we've got my laptop here, got my little pack testing box, my stickers, and we're ready to go. There we go, so we'll get the laptop set up. Oh, and uh, we'll look at these little kiddie chairs. And we'll get that foot off the floor. <laughs> look at that, right then, we'll get this loaded up. And we'll get a... Uh, Let's uh, start for this. And we'll be off to him up. So, got two pack testers. Uh, so one gives you a bit more detail, and one tells you pass or fail. So, they're both fine for using. Let's just give a little example. So say this is your kettle, or whatever. Plug it in, press test, and batteries are dead. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Yeah, I'll lend these out to other engineers and it comes back dead. So here we go, I've got a little charger. So we'll get this charged and we'll come back to it. All right then, so we'll do one. So we'll give you a few examples. So there's different scenarios we've pack tested. That's just charged up enough. Oh. So then we've got this little metal boiler. We've got a boiler uh, and it's got metal on it. If you look on the back, it shows that it needs an earth. So, We've got this little, this little fly lead here, yeah, so what we need to do is just plug it in. Well, first, like, first you do a visual check, so you should check that there's no coats, you can't see like any any uh, of the singles inside, everything looks sound and in intact. But sometimes you have like, like where the plug top bends, you might see the actual cores and that'll fail you see. So that needs to be all sound, so plug them in. So I don't know if you can see this because it's not that bright in here. But you've got uh, class one, class two. So class two is it's called double insulated. So if, if something's double insulated, uh, it doesn't need an earth basically. So it might be like um, I don't know, like a phone charge or something like that. Um, I'm trying to think what class two items are. But anyway, it's, it, it's basically something that's double insulated, so it doesn't need an earth. So you don't need this earth pin because there's no earth to actually go on to. Uh, but with metal fitting, so this class one metal, that's what we're going to be testing now. So what we want to do is make sure the, the uh, appliance is on. Uh, so we'll look. Best bet, sometimes the bodywork isn't the best bet to check if it's actually earth. What you want to do is test to these screws which screw into the bodywork. So all we're going to do is, see if we can do this one handed. Pop this on here, and there we go. And press test. And I'll have to show you what it did a little bit. So it's testing now. It's doing insulation resistance, it's doing earth continuity. And it's saying it's passed. So here we go. If you look on here, we've got earth continuity. It's so all that's doing is testing that the earth pin here actually uh, goes through here and connects onto the bodywork. And then basically the earth pin connects to the, the earth up here and then goes back down through the appliance to there. So it's doing the earth continuity check. That's what that is. And you've got insulation resistance. Like I said, that's just uh, uh, sending the voltage down line, earth and neutral. Um, well, line to earth, line to neutral, neutral to earth, there we go. And basically it tests if the insulation's not broken down, but if that if that failed, basically the insulation's broken down that much, that it's, it's um, not landing within a certain tolerance, basically. Uh, and then polarity will come onto that in a bit. So that's passed now, so all you do is just tally that down on a piece of paper, so we can write this up later. Yeah, uh, and then obviously you just write down, it's 30 amps on the for the fuse, uh, fitting electrical, test, test by fitting electrical, uh, and then first of the second was a test date, and the first of the, thir of the first of, the, of 2023, and it was when it's, it's retested. Well, oh, I had a late night last night, so I can't speak today. <laughs> so, we're getting there. So that's tested now, so all we'll do, we've got a scrap piece of paper over there, which we'll carry around with us, and all we'll do is, is just write down boiler, and then defuse 
and that's it. And then what I will do is just bang these, get all the uh, items listed, and then we can just bang them all in at the same time. It's just a bit quicker than carrying your laptop around with you. So I think the most boring bit is writing all the stickers out. So from last time, we've got 20, the, the one on one certificate, so uh, there's 20 items over, over there, and I think on here there's about 15, 20. So we've got to write out 40 stickers, tediously. <laughs> Uh, and then we can just rip, just rip it off the roll in its pocket and you just peel them off, stick them on, peel them off, stick them on. Uh, and then you just need a bit of scrap piece of paper. So I'm just going to write by there. Uh, so, you know. And then every time we come across a by there, we'll, we'll just tally it. So if you had the extension lead or if you were an office, you might have monitors or whatever, you can just tally them. And then all you do is that you'll have monitor one to five, so you've tallied five and yeah, you'd write money one, two, three, four, five and then fill out all your tables. So it's just a bit quicker than uh, doing it one at a time, bringing your laptop around. Boring, <laughs> but yeah, they're all written out now. So we've got like I think 38 stickers. So all those. Just carry that around that with them. I'll rip it off, write down the fuse type, fuse size, and stick it on my test. So we'll take this, this, test us over there. I'll get to it. All right, then, let's crack on. So you should come, you should come to like a corner and you'll see the big church. Let's try and find you. No, you'll never find me. Big church, big spire in Tadcaster. I'll come to end it road, big church. You can see Costa, can you? Yeah. Yeah, right, go on then. In fact, we'll get Costa in a bit. Right, I'm going to come back down that road. All right, just yeah, come down there and you'll see me. This isn't way down, I can hear his car. <laughs> you turned around, yeah? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going on that road now. <clears throat> there he is. Yeah. I'll do you. I do remember this, I do remember this place. Do you remember this club? Is that big church? <laughs> I remember it now. I'll do you. Backups arrived. Here we go, here we go. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you too. That's a nice little place, isn't it? Nice little church and that. So, we've got back up for a bit of pack testing. He's just swapped over a cooker switch on here to there. So that one nice easy job for him. And then he's back with me. And then we've got a bit of munch for all sales, haven't we, at 12? So, we need to crack on with this, really. Carry on. Here we go, so we've got something different here. So we've got an extension lead. So to test this, you plug in your extension lead plug. Once that goes all the way around the extension lead and back, and there's this little adapter. You plug into the into your extension lead and plug into the front, and then you just click. Uh, where's it gone? It's called power cord on this. It's like extension lead basically. And what it's going to do is do your continuity check all the way around. It's going to do insulation resistance and your polarity to make sure things wired correctly. And that's it. Nice and easy. Yeah, we've got a little five amp socket here. It looks, well, I saw the cores hanging out. I took the top off and the whole car's falling out. So I'll have to try and re-terminate that. Oh dear. So yeah, we're testing uh, an extension lead here. So if we press power cord, the extension lead button. If you look at earth continuity, so the earth pin here is not going all the way around to so this extension lead here. So what we'll do is just put that on one side, say it fails, uh, and that's about it. There we go, so that's all as items tested. So my lovely, or neat writing, should we say. Everything's tested. So the only thing that did fail was that extension lead that you saw. So I just left it down there. Uh, the guy said, don't bother trying to repair it, we'll just trick it out. So in the bin it goes. So now we're gonna move over to the little Sunday school building. That needs pack testing and there's a light to put on and an outside light. So we'll crack on with that as well. 
So his next little job then. So we installed these uh, a couple of years ago. So if you have a look, little LED that shines out, it looks brilliant. And then you got a little photo cell, which just which just fires into there. So when it's it's a dust till dawn, so when it's um, dusk, so when it's night time, these kick on. Uh, we run that via this switch. Uh, what do we did? So middle position's off, and we've got always on, so that's like a, an override. And then the down position is dust still dawn, so it'll work via the sensor. So what they want, they want an extra light put in, they want it up here. So what we're going to have to do is pull this off, this is an M box, so what we're going to have to do is swap this for a 90, so the conduit will come up, across, and to this light, so we'll do this next, nice and easy. There we go, that's those in now. So we've just got to get a lid on there. So that goes up, across, and we've got the light there. That'd be nice. Brown spanker, little LED. It was shining over this step nicely. So not a bad job, really. So if you look, this wall's like a turret. It's all curved, so all the conduit has to curve around. So looks pretty cool. And there we go, so next little job. We've just got to get a, where is it? There's a little flood light knocking about. And we've just got to put it underneath this emergency light. This is a photo cell with a 20mm little screwy thing, so that's screwing to the lid of this. Yeah, we'll do all the connections in here, and then out of here, we will come out to his light. So we're going to put this light up at side, and then that'll be us down. That'll be us done down here. So we're just going to test that works then. Give it a flick. Perfect. That's looking brilliant. So I don't know how these kick out and cast over here. We also put these in, so they just cast out nicely. Turn it off. It's beautiful. All right, we've got that up, so that's looking brilliant. So we'll just show you what we've done. So here's these little, these little wall lights. That's all sorted. So that's looking mint. And then if we look at, that's the church. I think it's here, that building. I love a bit of architecture. And it's just tidied up now. I'll show you what we've done. And it's tidied up now. It's looking brilliant. So, custom what it is as quick as possible. So what we've done is, is uh, the emergency light here. We've, uh, if you look there, we've just put a little photo cell. So it's like a little 20mm insert. So you drill, drill to the mill. Yeah, you push your little photo cell through, tie it up with a little gasket, and that's it really. So all the gubbins are in there for this light to kick on and off. So uh, what we're just going to do is put a whisker box underneath, like a little black box, and then from and then try and get it all in there. But I think that looks a lot neat and sweet. So there we go. Nice little. Uh, Cheaper job for them, just to just to get them away. Uh, this is a, a charity, just to help the local community kind of thing. So we're trying to uh, keep costs down as much as possible for them to help them out. So yeah, that's us done down here. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification to so know when next upload. So always have a good from me, and I'll see you on the next one. All right then, a bit of food time. Here we are, a bit of munch here. So we've got a nice latte. And we got Jacob from the wholesalers. Hello, hello. <laughs> a bit of Cajun chicken. Hayden's gone for a burger. And another Cajun chicken. Oh, I can't wait for it to come. I'm starving. Yeah. Oh, 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 look at that. A bit of Cajun mayo. Beautiful. Who I've seen? Jacob's gone for the salad. He's a healthy boy. And Hayden's not. <laughs>